Hey everyone and welcome to a quick demonstration of RapGen. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a poly curve. I'm going to snap this to the volume and I'm just going to snap a curve down the middle of this forearm here. Great. Now I've already appended the node tree but in the Blender file provided you just append RapGen and this will allow us to attach wrap gen to a geometry nodes modifier on our curve. So we've got our curve here, geometry nodes modifier, browse to wrap gen. And the first thing you're going to see is a whole bunch of circles here. When you first start wrap gen on a modifier, it'll initialize in setup mode. So if we enter edit mode of our curve and we press Alt S, we can increase the radius of our curve points. And what we want is for these circles to roughly encompass the shape that we want to create wraps around. Great. So let's now set our wrap mesh. I'm just going to take the subdivision modifier off that for now. So we set our, our target mesh, sorry. And then we're also going to set uh, our wrap mesh. And I'm just going to set this little tileable um, strap here. Great. Uh, let's e exit out of setup mode and we have our straps. And you can see these straps are not looking too great right now. And the reason for that is because the straps are as good as the underlying mesh, the target mesh. So this hand is very low res right now. Uh, and you can either increase the subdivisions here, which will subdivide this hand or you can just do it in the viewport, which is what I tend to do. So if I just add two subdivisions on top, and let's just increase our straps here, you can see it's a lot more clean now because there's a lot more topology. If I turn off optimal display, there's a lot more topology to sample from. Great. Let's come down to our next settings here. Another setting is the curve merge threshold. So if you ever see breaks in your um, your straps, you may just want to dial up the setting slightly. And basically what that's doing is these are the final curves which are being wrapped. You can enter final curve display. And if you increase this curve merge threshold, all of these points will start to get merged together but it looks like it's pretty good for now. So let's just run with that. The next setting is align to normals. Now it's a bit, well, you can see it here. So basically if you're wrapping a rope, for example, just a uniform shape, like a circle, you don't need to align to normals, but when you have a, a rectangular profile like this, you obviously want that to align to the surface. So it's gonna sample the normal of the hand and it's gonna align all of those curves to that surface. Uh, and if your if your normals are quite rough, for example this horn up here, what you can do is you can blur those normals. Uh, but we'll show that example a little bit later on, so we'll skip over that setting for now. Uh, obviously we've got our wrap mesh, we've got our wrap mesh scale, so if I set this to 0 0.75 you can see that the straps get a little bit smaller here wrap merge threshold. This is basically merging the points. So our array is this chunk here, and then we've got another chunk. It's basically just merging the points in between these chunks. So if you see any open faces where it's not merging, you just wanna increase that value up slightly. All right, fit to curve. So basically what this is doing is I'll choose a better example here. So if I change this wrap mesh to a band-aid and if I, if I hit fit to uh, fit curve length, it's going to stretch that single object around the whole thing. Whereas if I hit array, it's going to try and array that plaster around the whole thing. 
So this is useful for things like band-aids and that sort of thing. Um, what I'll do here, just for example purposes, I'll just surface offset this a bit so we get a better idea of what's going on. Something like that. And I'll just set this down to one. And so if I take off fit to curve, you can see that we have just a simple band-aid here. And then we can use our curve offset to shift this around the mesh, like so. Uh, once again, turn on array, and we want to fit to the curve, but we want to set this to zero so it encompasses around again. And I'll just change this back to our strap, increase this to something like 20, well, something a bit smaller than that, 24, uh, 16, yeah, 16 will be fine. Um, and we've got random rotations here, so I can add a random rotation of eight degrees. We can change the seed of, that, of those rotations. And we can randomly cull. So if I go 0 0.5 here, it'll remove 50% of these straps. So I'll set that back. We have our surface offset, which is what we were playing with before. We can just lift everything off the surface. Uh, but most importantly, we have the surface offset random setting. And that will randomize the, um, the curves off the surface so you don't get bad crashing. So this is really handy for things like straps. So now I can probably increase this a bit more. And we get a pretty cool, pretty nice looking, bandagey looking thing. Right, and then you can also change the seed on those randomizations just to get a look that you prefer. We've also got curved twists. So if I want to twist this 90 degrees, you can twist it 90 degrees. And lastly, we have our material slot here. Okay, let's wrap something between the fingers over here. So I'm going to get another single poly point here. Draw a little curve and assign wrap gen to that. Increase the radius of those. something like that that's that's good enough for me uh, let's assign a rope and let's oh, we also need to set the we need to set the target mesh first set our rope exit out of the mode and let's change the scale of the ropes here, something like that. And yeah, that's how you can wrap between two objects. You just put it, put the curve in between, make sure that these circles encompass the shape and you're good to go. Same process as these uh, bandages back here. But let's just continue on with this example. So we'll exit out of setup mode, uh, let's add some random rotations. Maybe we'll increase the scale a little bit on this. Something like that. I'll just turn off my overlays. Oop. Turn off the overlays. It's easier to see. Let's add some, let's randomly cull a few of these. And we'll add a bit of surface offset and bang, there you go. You've just wrapped something between these two fingers here. Great, let's move on to the horn example. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, like always, is create a curve poly point, and let's just snap this to the volume of our horn. Something like that. Let's attach our geometry nodes wrap gen modifier 
and let's turn on soft select for this and we'll just increase the size of these just because it's a tapering object it's just easier to adjust these with a soft select like so great let's set our target mesh let's set our wrap mesh and let's exit out of setup mode and right away you can see that the normals are getting confused they're trying to wrap to this they're trying to interpolate these like sharp points and we're not getting very nice results so what we need to do here is blur our normals so we have this blur normal iterations if i set this to five you can see it just softens all of those um, those kinks out uh, i'm also going to just change the scale down a little bit I'm going to add a bit of surface offset, something like that. Add some random rotations. Let's add 10. And there you go, you've got some straps on the horn there. And that's pretty much the gist of Rapgen.